Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Hardcore Let's Play series. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. So I hope that everybody had a safe New Year's and New Year's Eve. Uh, I know I had a lot of fun during those times and took a few days off. We are back and ready to go. So the first thing we are doing in today's episode is going to the nether because we want to get stuff for potions and to get prepared to go to the end soon. From there, we're going to be making a brand new build in our area with a super secret farm inside of it that's really simple and easy for you to make. And we're also going to be talking about some stuff that we want to build moving into the future of this series. It's going to be awesome. So before we do anything else, though, let's go ahead and update the Hardcore Diamond Challenge. For those of you who don't know what this challenge is, anytime we get a sub until the end of January 2024, we will mine a single diamond for each of them. So a lot of people have asked when I'm going to start this. Once we know the final number is when I'm going to begin my preparations for doing all the work. Now, when we started this challenge, we had... 801,940 subs and our current subscriber count at the time of recording is 805,561 meaning we have to collect 3621 diamonds for reference i believe a double chest holds about 3450 so we're a little under a double chest of full diamonds right now which is pretty insane if you think about it but that's a, that's awesome guys thank you so much for subscribing to the channel it really means the world to me so before we do anything in the nether, I actually went caving off camera and I have another video uploaded that's unlisted. You can find that in the description of this video. And this is all of our updated ores since then. So take it in, look at it, cherish it, look at all of our diamonds. Unfortunately, a lot of those diamonds are going to be sacrificed to the hardcore challenge. So it's not going to matter regardless. But so another thing that I need to ask you guys is I, I want to do a giveaway. So I have these uh, signed Hermitcraft TCG like slabbed cards. I'll put a picture of it on the screen right now for you. And I was trying to think of the best way to do a giveaway. I was thinking maybe about doing it on YouTube and just having people that are subscribed have a chance to win. But I don't really know the best way to handle this. And not a lot of everybody has Twitter. So it's like, how do I do this? What do you guys think is sort of the best method to give these things away? Let me know down in the comment section below. So my objective coming into the nether today is primarily a nether fortress. This guy is eyeballing me, bro. You better leave me alone. <laughs> so to give you guys some reference to where we are in the nether, the portal that I used to come into the nether is over there right by him. This is the original portal that we came into in the first episode. So if you remember, we found a bastion. That bastion is right there. So that means that the original nether portal that we found is way over that way, probably a thousand blocks. I'm not doing that. So I think I'm actually going to go back the way I came and hopefully, hopefully find another fortress there because I'm not trying to go over basalt deltas to find another fortress. So let's hope that we can find one. Well, I think I'm doomed to go to nether fortresses that are in basalt deltas. Apparently this is a different nether fortress that is in another delta in terms of location of where we are from where the portal is um, about 300 blocks that way. So still, still in a Delta, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get lucky. First kill, first skull. First kill, first skull. Oh, come on. That's no fun. Okay, well, at least we know that we have a, a, a blaze spawner right here. I gotta go. Oh, gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh my God, that was so sketchy. I should have brought a bow. Oh my Lord. Okay, well, there's loot. I'm going over here. <laughs> The nether's kind of terrifying, guys, but it's also very fun. I like the nether. Ooh. Unfortunately, this fortress is not very good. The interior of this one doesn't have any nether wart. So I think I'm going to have to go somewhere else because if this is the interior, it goes nowhere. So that's real unfortunate. So have I mentioned how much I hate the nether? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay sure sure i um i haven't been able to find another fortress yet so i am uh i am currently in this weird ravine thing and apparently getting hot towards destination that's actually hilarious i man the nether is just beating me down today guys it's brutal dude i'm getting shot getting shot at oh it's been bad but we found our second fortress i'm excited about that our current cords for those following along negative 568 negative 142 
good luck getting here because it was a huge pain so hopefully this fortress has some nether warts and some good stuff like i said i do think i'm probably just going to make another portal and head back that way because i am not going back what i had to go through to get here that sounds awful well that's one of our missions accomplished thank god so, so this fortress is much much better not only have i been able to get the blaze rods that i needed the interior of this one is much larger too so Oh, I hate the nether so much. I just popped another totem. I got lucky I didn't get more dead than I already should be. Oh my God, that was so sketchy. I was trying to get over there, ran into the lava and then got shot by this blaze and then another blaze. That was awful. Okay, well, the nether has been a terrible experience as always. I hate the nether so much, but uh, to make sure that I don't die, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to collect as much gold as I can we have fortune three which means we should be able to get a solid amount i'm going to go over there i'm gonna make myself a crafting table i'm gonna barter with piglins and then i'm gonna go back to the overworld like that because i am not dying in the nether today it's not happening i don't care oh my god i am free oh that's so beautiful i'm so excited dude i have been in the nether for like 45 minutes trapped here trying to get the gold to get out of this place i'm so excited to leave oh my god i've never been so excited to leave another in my life dude you'd have no idea how stressed i've been <laughs> it's so bad oh my god by the way we got some pretty gnarly trades though look we got five ender pearls we got a soul speed three a soul speed one bunch of potions like like a bunch of good leather so not all bad not all bad a little just a lot bad not all totally bad but a lot bad uh, so on the other side we are at negative 4600 so the the journey is not over yet we still have to get home and home is about 4000 blocks away so let's uh let's just get going i think so i'm finally back i made it i i gotta be honest with you guys that was like probably one of the most brutal runs to the nether that i ever had we ran out of food we popped our totem we're thousands of blocks away we were really pushed to the limit i'm happy that i survived but dude i should never have put myself in that situation to begin with here's kind of the result of that armors beat to death um i did find a pyramid i also got some some cactus from a desert um so we found two rib two dune we got a bunch of potions uh, nether wart things that we needed so it wasn't like a total failure but it was very very rough so i was probably in the nether for about an hour and a half and i was probably stranded there for about 45 minutes at least without a totem oh, oh i'm so happy to be back all right so moving on with the video it is time to start collecting all of our material and getting our iron farm slash secret iron farm built now, in the first episode, I showed you guys how I designed things and how I went about the process of uh, choosing the aesthetic for our builds. Now that we have that aesthetic made up, it's time to start showing you other things that I normally wouldn't show. That's a collection of the materials. Now, this is actually a pretty straightforward process. Uh, if you use anything like Lightmatica or World Edit, for example, Lightmatica especially, you can hit M on your keyboard and so we have our iron farm loaded in the world so we're ready to build it but this thing has this great feature that shows you kind of everything that you need so what i'm doing is i'm gathering the base materials and before i build i'm going to just craft everything that i need so i've already got moss i've already got stone i'm cooking stone brick and everything like that right now uh and i wanted to show this because i felt like this was something that's not really shown a lot but something that has to be done and it's just one of those grindy things that are kind of kept off camera. So if you want to see more sort of behind the scenes, things like this, let me know. And this is what it would look like on the opposite end of the spectrum. If you've already collected everything and you use that type of listing. So this is everything that we would need for the build. And then uh, just a little bit of miscellaneous stuff and then everything that went into it. So a lot of work to get to this point. And oftentimes it's not really shown. 
to get started with our super secret iron farm now that we have all of our materials the first thing that we need to do is we need to get villagers we're going to need three villagers with any iron farm the setup is pretty easy you just need to have a platform to kill a golem um an area for the villagers and an area for the zombie the only thing that's really really important to keep in mind is that the villagers have to sleep in the beds before the villagers do anything else otherwise your farm's not going to work so once they call that home then we're good to go so the game plan here is get the villagers here build the farm section of this kind of give you guys a small tutorial then we're going to do a time lapse and i'll include the terraforming as well as the rest of the building so we're gonna hit this village over here and grab villagers because it's like right across the water it's a little bit easier rather than going all the way back to the snow area so let's do it secret tunnel secret tunnel rough tide today man rough tide even more secret tunnel all right it's time to start the technical version of our farm it's very simple you're gonna have a very easy time with this so first thing that i have done is i have made a platform now the platform and the block choice is arbitrary as long as your platform is at least seven blocks off the ground you're fine you'll be okay other than that all you need to do first things first we need to get our beds down this is where the villagers are going to track to um we also need to make sure that there are absolutely no spawn spaces so let me place some blocks down to give you kind of an idea of where that's going to be blocked at okay so in this formation i'm going to be using glass now again this is literally just to stop spawning it has no other purpose so i'm going to go ahead and place some blocks down here then i'm going to grab some composters you can use any type of uh workstation just as long as it's a block and you can place it, you're good to go. Um, from there, we just need to, we'll use some slabs right here. I don't have any with me, but when I come back up here, I will put them there. So we need to get our villagers into this spot uh, before we do anything else. So I have a bell with me and they're gonna track to these stations. They're all down right there. So I need to free them and get them up here. All right, so that wasn't too bad. One of the villagers was being kind of obnoxious, but otherwise we're good to go. So we have our three villagers locked in this cage here. Basically, they're standing on their beds. There's a block there and a half slab there all the way across. Then we have iron trap doors. From there, the zombie is going to stand in this spot right here. So there are blocks, uh, half slabs here blocking the zombie from getting in. And then there's glass above. We'll probably have to clear some of that out to actually get the zombie in when we're ready to go. But it's a very simple setup. Let's go ahead and do the killing chamber now. Once you have your villagers locked in, you have your iron trap doors and your slabs down. Go ahead and bring your hoppers up to that same level. From there, we're going to want to grab our stairs here and here. Sorry, my voice is like on the edge of losing itself all right so then we're going to grab some fences or these are actually walls sorry so then we're just going to go all the way around all right so from the backside wall just place any blocks down just as long as they're solid it doesn't matter above the stairs make sure that you place glass down then continue your walls down the sides the back portion of the wall like here should be solid blocks so let's get the walls down on the other side here so here 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 then it can be solid block so for now we will just use stone brick just like so and it should look just like this so again build up the side walls a little bit more then we're going to go ahead and grab some trap doors and run them across the top here from there we should be able to place our lava in the center and it'll flow but not go anywhere else now i'm actually going to remove the lava from here from now for now because i want to be able to build without losing blocks in there so the game plan is to get the building built then lava then zombie and then we should have a working iron farm so i'll kind of go over everything a little bit more once we're finished but i hope you guys enjoy this time lapse
all right i hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse this building uh everything about this building was a struggle man the building of it the designing of it the, the figuring out the farm inside of it it was a tough project we're not necessarily done just yet but i will go ahead and give you kind of an update on what we got i built some more trees finished the pathway to it so we're just you know we're just about there we're really close so the first thing that we've got to do now now that this thing is built ooh, there's a lot of mobs underneath up there let's go ahead and get into the inside of this thing and finish up the killing chamber first so let's get in here we need to place some more signs down can't believe i forgot these that was uh that would have been a huge problem so we place the lava right in the center it should flow to the side perfect perfect we're good there okay so now let's go here and then here and we need to waterlog the stair here and here and then jump out so perfect perfect okay we're good now so let's close this thing up for good now there there and then i will finish that up i gotta get that all back together so now it is time to get the zombie in so my plan for the zombie is pretty straightforward first thing i'm gonna do is just name a name tag i think hmm let's do zombie face that seems appropriate <laughs> then let's grab an ender pearl there we go sorry about my voice man it's like almost gone all right so the game plan is to just kind of walk in there and then have one of them follow me and then kind of take some damage i know that there's mobs underneath of us but there sounds like there's a lot of them so i may try to find a zombie from somewhere else i think all right mr zombie face let's do it man let's do it so he's gonna come in and then i'm gonna just block him okay he's blocked ender pearl out oh and you heard this the the golem too oh we got iron baby let's go oh that was so sketchy all right let's go inside and sleep real fast so you heard the golem in there dying that's so exciting so let's go ahead and get this thing all buttoned up right so let's see first things first another piece of glass there to completely seal him off then we don't want any blocks inside of here so let's just take our stone brick there and then grab a button place it there uh and then we're good to go so we can go downstairs now and see if our iron is populating inside of our um our chest that we made so let's get rid of all this real fast man so the reason for the iron farm right like i'm sure people are kind of curious uh i have a i have a plan there there is a plan there's very much a plan the plan is um sorry the pl the plan is iron farm cactus farm furnace farm that way we can make an xp furnace farm because i don't want to make like a different xp farm this time so we're already getting iron that is amazing i am so excited for that uh oh look at this guy bro what are you what are you doing brother all right well let's go ahead and take a look at it in uh in this mode up here see if we can catch one of the golems nothing in there but as you can see they're panicking there's the golem oh it's beautiful it's beautiful i tell you i'm so excited i gotta be honest with you guys man this episode beat me up i'm not gonna lie to you like i, I lost the totem in the nether the nether was like super super rough and i'm so happy that this came together in a good manner really like the design of this and uh just overall feeling pretty good about it um so one thing i do want to mention is that i'm sorry for the delay between videos i um was not feeling very well so i went to urgent care and i had low potassium and it was making me feel like all sorts of ways and then like there was like new year's eve and so lots and lots of stuff was happening and so i'm feeling good now and we're back on track and so next episode i kind of want to get a beacon but i also kind of want to go to the end too i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens what do you guys think what should we do maybe we should just make a cactus farm and just be happy <laughs> anyways let's check on our farm a little bit more there we go perfect perfect so excited about that man so anyways if you guys enjoyed today's episode Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. This is iJevin. Peace out.